I'm Dr. Paul Jacobs, State Representative of the 118th District. In late February, I joined with State Representative Charlie Meyer and State Senators Dale Fowler, Terry Bryant, and Jill Tracy for a Capitol News Conference to demand immediate public hearings into abuses of residents of Shote Mental Health and Developmental Center in Anna, Illinois. Shote is located within the boundaries of my district. My colleagues and I in the House and Senate Republican caucuses sounded the alarm on Schott, and we demanded hearings into the abuse and neglect that was laid out in a very disturbing media report. We are still demanding that those hearings take place. There's no reason they shouldn't. The abuses that were detailed in a February 10th, 2023 ProPublica news report showed an unacceptable pattern of abuse, neglect, cover-up, and intimidation of whistleblowers over a decade-long period that resulted in more than 1,500 complaints. Those complaints were to the Office of the Inspector General overseeing the Illinois Department of Human Services. The House and Senate must act in their role as appropriate legislative oversight bodies to put on the record what happened at Shote and to allow families and loved ones and employees of Shote to testify. I'll continue to demand these hearings take place as soon as possible. On Monday of this week, I joined Senator Bryant in distributing a letter to all members of the House and Senate that provided an update on the good things that are happening at Shote. The letter was accompanied by another letter that was penned by the president of Friends of Shote, Rita Burke. Friends of Shote is the parent and family advocacy group that works on behalf of the be and the best interests of the, of the residents of Shote. The fear that Friends of Shote had was that despite some very positive improvements, the governor was just going to close it down and send the residents hundreds of miles away. This is their home, and in many instances, their families live close by. The alternative uh, to today's transformation announcement was permanent closure. The result of this plan must be that the needs of the residents are met immediately. We now, for now, we will trust, but we'll continuously verify. Yesterday, Governor Pritzker held a news conference at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine to announce that Schott Mental Health and Developmental Center will undergo a three-year transformation that will effectively repurpose Schott while implementing new safety enhancement that expands support for families and the residents living there. The Department of Human Services announced Wednesday it will partner with SIU School of Medicine to shape Schott's transformation. Our goal was to keep Schott open and make it a safer place for the residents being cared for there. The governor had previously threatened to shutter the facility, and that would have been devastating on many levels for the residents, their families, and the community of Anna. I am encouraged that SIU School of Medicine will have a role in keeping Schott open and making it the best mental health facility that it can be. I will continue to hold this administration accountable for the promises that they have made to invest in building and grounds improvements, implement new safety measures, and provide direct support for residents and their families while this transformation takes place.